The information presented in this video is for high-level awareness only. This is not intended to serve as training. Stratus configuration remains under development. Any features shown in this video are subject to change. Greetings, my name is Jeff Sutton, and today I will be demonstrating how to enter a requisition. First, you navigate to the home screen. From the home screen, you'll navigate to the procurement module from the hamburger menu in the upper left corner or the sliding taskbar in the center of the screen. Once you've selected procurement, click purchase requisitions. You'll be presented with some information tiles for things like recent requisitions, recent purchases, and request forms. There's also a section for purchasing news where the procurement office can post about newly executed contracts, policy updates, or other helpful information. In this case, we want to submit a requisition, so we'll take our eyes down to the lower third of the screen for request forms. We can submit a requisition in six ways, fixed price goods or fixed price services, requisitions for goods by quantity, requisitions for rate-based services, honorarium, or independent contractor. We want to buy maintenance services for grounds today, so we'll choose requisition for fixed price services. We now need to capture more information for this purchase. The request type defaults to the selection made, but if you want to change your request type, you simply make your choice from the list of values in the drop down box. In this case, we'll stick with re requisition for fixed price services. Next, you'll need to enter a description for the purchase. In this case, maintenance services for grounds. Next, you'll select a category, which autofills as you type. If you would like to search by natural count number, for example, 608163, you can click the magnifying glass as you do so. Next, you'll enter the amount for the service. Then you'll need to suggest a new supplier or choose an existing supplier. The supplier field will autofill as you type the supplier name and will import known information onto the requisition. If you search for a supplier and it doesn't return results, you can suggest a new supplier by clicking the new supplier box and completing as many of the fields as you can. In this case, I know a supplier. Their name is Brauner. Next, you'll need to attach any supporting documentation. In the attachments section at the bottom, you'll click the addition symbol and it will populate an attachment line. You may add as many attachments as necessary. In this case, I'm going to add a quote from a supplier for maintenance. Now we're ready to click Add to Cart in the upper right hand corner. After you click Add to Cart, you'll notice the shopping cart now says one. At this point, if you would like to enter more requisition lines, you can repeat the same process. In this case, we're ready to submit our requisition. You'll click the one next to the shopping cart, and you'll be prompted to review your requisition. 
If your purchase is to be expensed against your default call center, you can simply hit submit. However, if you need to change the call center, split the cost amongst multiple call centers, or add a project ID, you'll need to click review. We'll click review. A best practice is to always review your requisition prior to submitting. You'll be presented with more information about the requisition where you can add a project number or click the split line to split the purchase between call centers or simply change the call center amount. I am going to change the department number to 21470. Now we're ready to move on. In the upper right hand corner, you'll have a few options. Check funds, we'll budget check the requisition. Manage approvals, we'll show you the approval path that will take place after clicking submit. Save will allow you to save the requisition and complete at a later time. And submit will submit the requisition for approval after successfully passing budget check. We're ready to submit, so we'll click Submit. You'll be returned to the Purchase Requisition home screen and prompted that your requisition was submitted. At any time, you can check on the status of the requisition. We can see under Recent Requisitions that some of the requisitions are pending approval. We'll click pending approval. From here, you can see that we are waiting for approval from a call center manager named Cardholder. If you had chosen to split the purchase among multiple call centers, you would see an approval required for each call center. Once approved, the requisition will be routed to a buyer for processing. For more information, please visit our website, towson.edu slash stratus.